Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we've been given the open base circuit, and here we have been given that all the op-amps in the circuit are ideal op-amp. So here we've been asked to find the voltage gain of the given circuit. So let us find that. So here, first of all, let's say this is the op-amp number one, and this is the op-amp number two. Now here, if you observe, then for the given circuit. This input voltage is applied between the non-inverting terminals of the op-amp number two and the op-amp number one. So let's say the voltage at this end is equal to V1, while the voltage at this node is equal to V2. That means here, this V in is equal to this V2 minus V1. And here, if we see the voltage gain, that is V out divided by V in, then that is equal to this V out divided by This V two minus V one. So in the given question, this is what we have been asked to find. So to find that, first of all, let us consider this op-amp number one only. So for this first op-amp, let's say its output is equal to V X. So here, since the first op-amp is configured in the non-inverting configuration, so we can say that its output voltage, or this V X, is equal to One plus this R F divided by R one times V in. So here the value of the feedback resistor is equal to 10 kilo ohm, while the value of the R one is also equal to 10 kilo ohm. And here this V in is equal to V one. So we can say that here this V X is equal to one plus one times V one. That is equal to two V one. That means here the voltage at this node. Is equal to two V one. So once we have this, then now let us find this output voltage. So here we know that the voltage at this node is equal to V two. Now here, if you observe the second op-amp, then for the second op-amp also there is a negative feedback from the output to the input side, and therefore here we can also apply the concept of the virtual short. That means here the voltage at the inverting terminal. Will be also equal to V two. So now to find the output voltage, let us apply the KCL at this node. So if we apply the KCL, then we can write this voltage V two minus V X divided by ten kilo ohm. That is this current plus V two minus V out divided by ten kilo ohm. That is this current is equal to zero. Or from this we can say that this V two minus V X plus V two minus V out is equal to zero. Or from this we can say that this V out is equal to this two V two minus V X. And we know that this V X is equal to two V one. So we can say that this V out is equal to two V two minus two V one. So from this we can say that. This V out is equal to two times this V two minus V one, and we know that this V two minus V one is nothing but the input voltage. So we can say that this V out divided by V in is equal to two. That means for the given circuit, the voltage gain is equal to two, and therefore for the given question, the answer is equal to two.